Hey guys, <coughs> how y'all doing tonight? <clears throat> it's 11.30 at night, Monday night. Been here working on the stock car, working on the starter. Starter's giving us some problems. We worked on it, we had it off three times tonight, trying to work on it. We got two more starters here we was working on, one right there, one right there. That looks like a nice starter. And uh, it is brand new. We used it, uh, we didn't even make one night of racing with that starter, did we? I don't, I don't think we made one night of racing with that starter right there. <clears throat> anyway, we pulled the solenoid off of this starter here and uh, got uh, our parts and stuff laying here everywhere. Trying to change solenoids on this starter. We wound up not being a solenoid. I think it's the gearing on the inside. <clears throat> <clears throat> the uh, the Bendix is kicking in and the starter is spinning it, but the, <clears throat> excuse me, what the problem is, is uh, as the starter is spinning, <coughs> as the starter is spinning it, all of a sudden on the inside of the starter it'll disengage, the starter Bendix stays engaged, but the starter will disengage and the starter will keep spinning but the bending isn't isn't spinning so <clears throat> I don't know probably needs a new bending in it uh, it's the only thing I can think that the may have broke the starter bending in it uh, but uh, we're just going to order another new starter that starter there's lasted probably 15 starts so, uh, when I say starts, I'm not talking about race starts. I'm talking about 15 starts of the motor. <clears throat> so, it's supposed to have been one of the better ones. It uh, failed us. It's broke. So, uh, anyhow, we're going to get another new starter. We're going to try a stock high torque Corvette starter. That's what uh, Wayne Brooks told us to get. That's what he runs on his stuff. He said he, he stopped having starter problems when he started getting a stock GM uh, high torque Corvette starter. So, uh, so that's what we're going to do is get, go ahead and buy one of those put on here. It's actually cheaper than this starter here. <clears throat> if uh, as long as we don't get one of the ones made and well I don't know where it's one of them places that makes inferior part of products so but anyway work 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 still can't get the outfit Z in here just one thing after another we try hoping we could get this fixed pretty quick but it's not looking like it's going to get fixed that quick starter May come in Wednesday or Thursday and uh, get that bolted on here, try that, and hopefully that works. We're about, Matthew said he's about tired of spending money on starters, and, and uh, I'm about tired for him to have to spend money on starters. This thing is, it's time for us to get this thing going, and uh, <clears throat> that's one of the, always the problems on these old stock cars. You got to get all the inferior products out of the way and stop trying to buy cheap stuff so we try it and, and it, sometimes it works out for you and sometimes it don't but apparently this time it ain't going to work out for us but anyway just wanted to make a little short video here tonight of the uh, of the stock car and uh, check us out on YouTube there, Outfits Garage, and uh, Poodle Grace on Facebook, that's, uh, that's my wife's, wife's dog breeding company, remember, 
Greer Racing Fuel or Parts and Fuel. There's his phone number. Give him a call if you need something. He's got about anything you need. So anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna get off here, wash up, and go to bed. It's almost midnight on Monday night, and uh, got to go to work tomorrow morning. So I'm getting a little tired, but that's part of working on stock cars. Sometimes you got to work on them a little late, get some things done. But anyway, we're gonna get off here. Matthew, gang, how you say? Uh, we'll see you later. Uh, work on this car pretty soon. We'll get a new starter on it and try to make more videos. Yeah, hopefully so. Hopefully we get to go to Batesville this weekend. And uh, if, everything, if we can get a starter on it in time, we'll go to Batesville and uh, make some laps up there. Hopefully it, it'll all start working out. We, we're, we're about to get the bugs start to get worked out of this thing, but you just got to make laps before you can find the bugs. So the more you run it, the more you find the problems, and then you've got to fix the problems. So. But uh, eventually you get all the problems fixed, and then you can start racing. So, <clears throat> so uh, anyway. All right, we appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you think. We're, uh, we're gaining two and losing two. Gaining two, losing one on our subscriber count. So y'all help us out. Subscribe. I just got another new subscriber today. Appreciate that. And... Uh, we, uh, we need all we can get. We're still trying to get to that 500 where we can get to the no-name nationals. So uh, y'all uh, y'all help us out. No-name nationals, we're coming whether we get to race or not. So we're going to be there and uh, might have some T-shirts or something for sale. Who knows? But uh, we'll get to meet a few folks and watch some good drag racing anyway. All right. We're going to get off here. Matthew. We'll see you later. See you later. We'll see you later. Keep a hammering. God bless you.